Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here, and welcome back to another episode of the Creator Club Career Mode in FIFA 20. We're now really starting to get moving with this one, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, we are now up into second place after 12 games in League One. We have a game coming up against Shrewsbury, which of course, if we win, we will jump that team and go top of the table. I can't wait to get into that game, but unbelievably, I, I have such... I was not expecting this to be a problem this early on in the career mode. So Gino Dest has once before gone away on international duty. But now, I've been hit with not just Dest being gone, but Travers is going to be away, so my number one goalkeeper is out. And on top of that, my scouted future star Hunter Hunter, he's obviously an Aussie, and he's going away on international duty. He's only 64 overall. So we're going to be down three pretty decent players for this game, which is unfortunate, and definitely not expected. Regardless though, before we actually get underway with this episode, I, I wanted to mention super duper quickly something, a comment I saw, again, trying to keep you guys as included in the career mode as possible. A few comments I saw about Masters FC needing a rival, which I honestly think is a very intriguing idea. I even saw a suggestion that maybe I should create another team within uh, FIFA 20 and call them Masters City and they can be my rivals. And look, that's a very interesting and intriguing idea, but with us already having started the career mode and with it already being a little too, too into it, I don't really know if that's maybe the most viable option, but I'm still very much on board for the idea of Masters FC having a rival. I guess the only thing is I'd want them to be an actual real club though, but I don't know, like obviously we're not based in any city or anything like that, so there's no geographical rivalry that we could have, but I don't know, maybe it'd just be for whatever reason, like Accrington Stanley for example were the first team to hand us our first loss, maybe they could have been pricks about it and rubbed it in our faces and then we got a bit salty and that's that. Now we're rival. I mean, hell, uh, even Liverpool knocked us out of the Carabao Cup in the previous episode 4-0. Pretty embarrassing scoreline. I don't think that's super fair. But I don't know, maybe that as well. Uh, maybe we're on completely different levels at this point, but still. I'm intrigued to hear what you guys think. If you think there is any team out there that could be my rivals, then I, I'm all for it. Honestly, at this stage, I don't feel like I, I really particularly have one. Maybe it could be one of the teams that we end up battling for promotion with in this season. I think it's more something we have to let the series play out and just run its course before we figure out who our real rivals are. But I'm still very much interested to hear suggestions. If you can leave them in the comments, and if I see anything, then I'll work with what you guys are offering. So with the international duties, unfortunately, taking three of my players away, Jack Rose is going to be taking the number one goalkeeper spot with Schofield on the bench now. Uh, we have got Fusi still in at right backs, filling in for Sergino Dest. Although his stamina is drained, man. I'm going to hopefully be able to manage him. Uh, he's going to have to get subbed pretty early on. And of course, we are going to be missing Hunter Hunter. I would normally put Ashley Seal in that position on the bench. But I haven't actually given a game to Dom Telford. And he's the fastest player that I have in my team. And I'm intrigued to see how he's going to go. I want to give everyone a bit of a run. So we'll play with him too. So yeah, we will see how we manage for this huge Top of League One clash against Shrewsbury. Can we go top with a win? And also, before we actually get underway with this episode as well, and underway with the first game, I should let you know super duper quickly, I'm doing a gigantic FIFA 20 giveaway. I have got 10 copies of FIFA to give away, courtesy of EA Sports, to keep us occupied during this uh, very unfortunate lockdown that we all seem to be facing. I'm giving all these away over on my Instagram, so there's a link in the description down below that will take you to the post. All you need to do is give it a like, follow me so that way I can DM you if you actually win as well. And just like that, you could win one of the 10 copies of FIFA I'm giving away on either console. You'll just have to let me know when I DM you. But best of luck with the giveaway, lads. Instagram, down below, go. Huge game in League One today. First versus second, it's always big, regardless of whatever league we are in. Also a chance for my second choice goalkeeper, Jack Rose, to impress us. We're going to see him in action for the first time. I guess it's not just him either. Dom Telford's lying in wait on the bench. Oakley Booth, I have moved to the bench as well, so he might almost definitely get a run today as well. A lot of opportunity today, but we are underway. Shrewsbury have got us kicked off. Ooh, how's this? We've scored the most goals. They've conceded the least. Bring it on. All right, but we're finally now moving it. Anyway, at least now. Kai Kai. Sule Kai Kai. We'll take a touch. Is this... Gonna be, no! Why did he take it with his right foot? I thought for sure he'd power that in with his left. <clears throat> Fucking shit, I saw the shadow, and I went sliding and I missed. 
I passed when he was in acres, and then I just fucking see a shadow come in to go and cut it off. I fucking knew something like that was going to happen. I was absolutely screwed the second I saw that he won the ball. Fucking come to it, Friars. Hate how I concede that goal so much. I hate it so much. Oh my god, my players are right now just standing around. Every time I pass the ball, they are fucking running absolutely as hard as they can to go pick it off. Mine are just fucking strolling toward it. Like, lift up your fucking intensity, guys. Oh my god, I've had none of the ball. Now my defenses are getting pulled apart. He's got to be offside there, right? Oh my god, he's not! It's 2-0! We are not having a good first half. My defenses were just getting pulled apart because I wasn't fucking getting the players I wanted to control selected. And that just meant a delay and I was pulling... Yeah, not good. And he is on side there. Who the fuck is keeping him in? And Jack Rowe's getting smashed at his near fucking post right now. You're not offering me anything, mate. I was going to be fucking convinced he was going to be in an offside position. But no. And we're down by two. Alright, that's pretty good, mate. That is pretty good! He's on his feet still! He does finish! Oh, come on! We got one back, Tom Davies. I thought for a second he was going to find a way to... Bump me off the ball, not give away a penalty, and yeah, Jesus Christ, my lord, the legs got caught up there, but he still had the ball in front of him to have one more crack at it, and in the end, he ended up just smashing it right into the top corner. Oh baby, did we need that one going into the, uh, into the halftime break. Thank you, Tom Davies. So right on the stroke of half time we go and cut the deficit in half, great. That gives us hopefully a bit of momentum and confidence going into the second. No, you fucking stupid game. That's not who I wanted to go to. Kai Kai. He's going to get it off him. Good work here. Fletcher. Sule Kai Kai. Are we able to send him away here? Well, kind of. But I don't know if we'll be able to get him back in. I can see Ryan Kent at the back stick. That's a great delivery. And the fucking headers. I do not know how to fucking head the ball in this game. FIFA 20. Are you kidding me? I'm going for that top corner. He's missed. Little fake shot. And in the middle here. One more, and then another one. Oh, is that not going to get through? Fletcher, fingertip fucking save O'Leary from an attack that kind of fell apart. Where's the goal coming? Oh, Tao! Oh, Richie Tao got a free header. But of course, not a fucking chance. We can actually hit the target from anything aerial. It's going to be in here. This is good running. Don't know about the cutback here. Hopefully I can just go the whole way. Saved. Header, rebound, fucking man, it's just absolute. Any time I have to rely on a header, I'm just like, well, fuck, this attack's dead. Not bad move this at all, though. Oh, and then the fucking woodwork. Am I actually going to grab this second? Come on, bit of a gap opened up here. Slipped in too fucking easily. And at the near post again, and it's over. Oh, I really am pissed at this one today, boys. I swear, I had too many opportunities to go and fucking grab that second equalizing goal. And then a huge gap opens up. They just have to knock it into the space for them to run onto, and I won't be able to get my players to get there quicker. Fucking hell. And Jack Rose, have you actually made a save today? That's probably the least likely of you to stop. So fair enough, but fucking hell. I'm just a bit pissed off, Jack. I, my apologies, but... For someone with the name Jack Rose, you've been a titanic fucking failure. Um, maybe we might be able to, no, grab another opportunity. Nah. Just a very frustrating fucking day out. I think when you look at the stats, we might actually have had more possession and actually a fucking shitload more shots. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Shrewsbury had three shots on target and three goals. All coming at the near post. No fucking support from Jack Rose. Deary me. Oh, when do we get Mark Travers back? I'll take him, that's for sure. Oh, big fucking shocker. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just went and shot myself in the foot with the first goal, fucking really annoyingly giving that one up, and then from there, it was just fucking shenanigans. Fair to say it was a tough match. Where do you think it went wrong today? It all is our finishing. It is absolutely our finishing. We can't head the fucking ball to save our lives. It is absolutely ridiculous, and every time we have a somewhat decent effort on goal, it's either just wide or with Sule Kai Kai, we hit the fucking post. Unreal. We've hit the post. So many times early on in this career mode already. The blame is mine. Game plan was not followed. I'm not sure. I'm just going to say it, sure. Let's not direct blame at anyone. I, uh, you must have hoped to get back in the game, uh, but ended up losing by a bigger margin. They were the better team. We were 
They were lucky to win like this. Yeah, sure, fine. Top spot will have to wait a little bit longer, sadly. We have another game against Blackpool coming up. I think they're not doing all that great in the league, so we can probably sim this. They aren't doing at least as good as Sunderland are, who we have coming up. But a home game, I hope that would mean a good result, and it does with Ryan Kent getting a brace. We finally got our players that were away on international duty back, so Hunter and Travers, I can start giving them drills once again as well. But once again, another big game not too long after playing the Shrewsbury game. Hopefully this one ends a little better for me against Oxford United. These guys as well, only one point above us. We have the highest goal difference in the league at this stage. So if we can at least jump Oxford, who knows? Shrewsbury are playing, um, who are they playing? They're playing Gillingham, who are seventh and pretty decently placed. Maybe something could happen here. Maybe there is still a chance to go top of the table, but we're going to have to make changes because, oh boy, is uh, this starting 11 a bit gassed. We'll go with these names. We're going to have Gardner playing in center midfield. Uh, Edwards is going to be playing at center attacking midfield, replacing Kai Kai. Brian is going in a center back. He's the only change uh, down back. Obviously, Travis is coming back too. And up forward, Ryan Kent stays, but it's Hunter Hunter starting his first ever game. And Nathan Dyer is actually going to just replace Tom Ince. So yeah, Nathan Dyer is actually in a lot of the games we've played or subbed or simmed with him. He's actually scored in a decent amount of them. So who knows? Maybe something could happen. Bit tired. Everyone around the park is a little bit. Hopefully we'll manage. Hoping for some redemption today. We couldn't win our first game of the day. Hopefully this one. Again, more rotation. The strongest starting 11 still yet to get its run. But eventually we will hopefully get there. I very much want to get back to my main fit starting 11 again. Because especially for these tough games, it, it's not... It's, it's a little noticeable not having my preferred team out there. Craig Gardner, little pass here. Maybe was trying to go for Davies. It didn't quite happen though. Kent, get it under control. Crossed in. Davies! Oh my god, that was actually a really good attempt. Honestly, I wasn't expecting much from that. That got a lot closer than I imagined. Holy shit. Edwards, waiting for fucking some support. Hunter maybe can get slipped in here. A fake shot, a fake shot. Why do I fucking bother with this shit fucking piece of crap game that just does not know what I want to fucking do ever and keeps costing me chances to score? Oh, this is a nice little move that we're putting together late. Putting together very late. Dyer. Ball flicked in here. It's not going to get up over the top. It doesn't. Just was looking for the cutback across the ground, but it was never there. Tried a little floating ball up at the back stick, but there wasn't enough on it. Edward's so close. If only we had someone that was a little taller maybe there, he would have been able to stick it in. But even from that distance, with how headers have been for me, I'll probably find a way to miss it from three yards out anyway. Oh, we've got a bit of a concerning situation on here though. Tofolo is going to chase. Catches up. Can't stop the cross. Oh my god! Done with this game. Fucking done with this game. I got away with absolute murder and then... Oh my fucking god, what happened? Did my defender just kick it into my goalkeeper here? Look, regardless, I should have conceded here. How the fuck? And then, you, you fucking are kidding me. You are actually fucking kidding me. I just pressed B to clear the fucking ball. He kicks it straight into the goalkeeper, Sir Gino Dest. And then they take the lead, which they probably should have anyway. But, but the fucking game was just being stupid. Matt Taylor missing the first one. I can't fucking honestly stand how fucking SHIT FIFA 20 is! Oh my god! Oh, sorry, I just need an outburst like that every now and again. I think you would understand having to play this fucking game every single day, how it would drive people insane. Oh, that's lucky. That is very lucky indeed. Hunter, Hunter, maybe Edwards instead. And then for Hunter, Hunter! Oh, nearly the first! Oh, nearly the first for Hunter Hunter. We're still waiting. Dyer is going to be slipped in. And he is going to be onside. And a little fake shot. And a simple little pass off. Gardner! It's in! Gardner's got it! Little deflection off Eastwood. But one of our senior members has got the big goal. When we need experience and leadership, we go to our uh, more veteran players. And he's been able to score just about with it coming off of the goalkeeper and everything. 
Oh dear, I thought for a second there was almost two deflections, but Gardner's done what he's had to do. We're leveled up again. Craig Gardner now has got his first ever Masters FC goal. Every, every As we continue to tick on, more and more players finally hit the score sheet. One more, one, two play. That's brilliantly done. Could just try to jam it home with Dyer, but every fucking time I expect them to take the shot with one foot, they take it with the other. I was looking, cut back maybe, hunter, hunter. Nah, there was... Just complete coverage everywhere. He's already conceded one each foot. He doesn't want to concede another, but hopefully he'll have no choice. He has no choice. Hunter, Hunter has his first. Finally, it has come. He's got his first ever goal. And what a time for him to get it. After the cross came in, the header from who is it? Now, number 25. Uh, I think it's Brian. It wasn't able to get through, but he sorted it out, Hunter. He's got it to go. We have finally taking the lead with five minutes to go and we have finally got this man on the score sheet oh my god people i'm so gassed let's hold this please dyer hunter the touch dyer's gonna get slipped in again oh these two are linking up dyer can seal it surely he will oh my god he won't wide Played it back a fair bit, and that's a bad pass, and that's going to be that. We take care of business, and we win it at the very, very death with Hunter Hunter scoring his first ever Masters FC goal. He gets us all three points. What a bloody superstar. It is finally his moment on his first start for Masters FC. He wins us the game. Oh, get in, baby. Buddy, shout out too to Nathan Dyer, man. Honestly, like we we seriously have got a, a bloody uh, decent little backup for us right there. I know Tom Ince is the highest goal scorer in the league for us with like nine or something, but almost all of them have come in sim games. Dyer is up there, man. Uh, were we lucky to score the late goal? Luck had nothing to do with it, you already know. We managed to turn the tide and find the decisive goals. Were there any doubts that we would get the win uh, after the last game? Yeah, of course. But in the end, I trusted we'd give it our all. And how difficult was it to block Oxford United's attackers from scoring? Well, uh, we... it Yeah, it wasn't easy. It's never easy when you... Uh, I'm just... Uh, that, that, that goal that they scored, I swear. I'm not actually mad that I conceded. It's just how that I conceded. If he had just headed it, looped over the keeper and just went in off the post, don't care. No problem. Fine. Great finish. Fucking whatever. But the fact that it had to just come off both posts, he had to swing and miss it, and then Dest had to clear it and kick it straight into my goalkeeper. Oh my god, I just can't stand this game. It just toys with me. Ah, we'll kick on again. We have so many games right now against teams that are really high up on the table. Like, now we have AFC Wimbledon coming up. We're still not top yet because Shrewsbury won their previous game. But I'll probably sim this one regardless and maybe the Ipswich game because we... I know I said I don't give a shit about the Leasing.com trophy, but it's Salford City away, my old career mode team. For sentimental reasons more than anything, I have to play this game. So let's go with this one. A mixed bag of results for Wimbledon recently. What can we get at home? A 2-0 win. Harry Tofolo's got his first goal for Masters FC. Davies with another one. Ipswich apparently have had a pretty good run recently. Some of those teams look quite strong. But we still, regardless, get another win. And Gardner, wow, he's now getting a few goals for us. Actually, as a matter of fact now, we have just taken top spot. We are top of the league, finally. We couldn't get it done against Shrewsbury, but we got it done against third place and fourth place, Oxford United and AFC Wimbledon. And Jesus, even Blackpool have now sort of entered into the fray. We have played and simmed against some top teams in the league so far this episode, and yet we're still on top. Where we should be, in my honest opinion, Ryan Kent, we give him a drill as we give all these boys drills. He's now up to 75. His agility is going to be mad pretty soon, but we have like a whole two-week break until this game against Salford gets underway. Hopefully that's not more players leaving on international duty though. Thankfully, no, they will be available. Dest is still here, which is great, but for the Leasing.com trophy, of course, it means we only get five subs, but... God, what a B-Tech competition. What are, we, what are we doing? Playing the second team for this game against Salford City as well. Again, it is still uh, the Leasing.com trophy, and I don't care if I get knocked out at all. I really don't. So I'm just playing the second team. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be some players in the starting 11 that are featuring, like, for example, Davies and Dest. But uh, most of the other players, like Glennon, who's my backup left back. Rowan, who's like my last choice center back as well. Schofield is my third choice goalkeeper. He's playing... 
Horton's a CDM who I've not really played too much. Oakley Booth is going to start. And even Brown at left wing, a guy that can play on either side, left wing or right wing, and has pace. And a guy that I've been training up as well, and I think hopefully will eventually start getting quite a bit of a run. Hunter Hunter as well. I'll play him since he's on a bit of form as well too. But it's a mix of uh, new and old. My previous career mode team going up against my current career mode team. It's always pretty crazy when, you know, you've... Uh, you go and face your old career mode sides for the first uh, first time when you start a new one. I really would love to grab the win here, but again, it's not the end of the world if we don't. Jeez, we're going to get to see some of the uh, original OG Salford City players go to run out in this one as well, won't we? Obviously, we stole Richie Tower from them, so he'll be missing, but a few other names will definitely look a bit familiar to you if you were watching the first early episodes of the career mode. Oh, kidding me. Oh my god, look at this. Left hand side, that is a bloody blistering ball. Brown is away. Brown could... Uh, gonna set this one up. Oh my god, I just should have shot earlier. And then Hunter Hunter. To his right foot, and in! Hunter Hunter, he's got his goal scoring form now. Just took that one simply, unlike the previous one that we bottled. That one we've got. He's starting to get him for me now. Brilliantly slipped in by the number 24. Is that uh, Horton? I think maybe is uh, getting his first assist ever. But a nice little move back onto his right foot and oh, tucks it away brilliantly. He's got four-star weak foot, the man. So you know on either side, he'll be able to pop him away with absolute ease. And he's done it there. We're starting to build up his goal tally. This is what I'm talking about. Good spin from Hunter Hunter. Ball slipped in. Cut back. What a ball! Ha <laughs> ha! Hunter Hunter where he needs to be to finish it off as well. Man, after slipping that ball in, the angle was way too tight to shoot. So I just drove it low across the face of goal. Hunter Hunter was right where he needed to be. He knew where he needed to be. And he smashed it in. Wasn't that long ago he scored his first ever goal. Now, we're on for a bloody hat-trick with him. And it's still only early days in this game. Oh, that's a good ball. Dest. Fucking guy's got to get it out. Shit at the back. That is such a concern. The cross in is a dangerous one, but cleared away. Couldn't get it out of the fucking box, though. That's our problem. I'm going to come clean and say, all right, so Genio Dest is a great fullback for me to have when it comes to moving the ball forward, you know, to actually pushing the counterattacks and whatnot. His pace and everything, it's good, and the high potential. Look, I'm happy to have him. I don't know about his defensive qualities. He just seems to, I don't know, be responsible for one or two, like, uh, not great ones. It's got to be said. Dyer has a pop from a long way out and nearly got it. And Davies kicks it out. Good stuff. We deal with it. 2-1. We have been on top today. I am getting so many chances. I've never felt like I could score as many goals in a game so far in this career mode as I do right now. Two attempts, two goals. i got to make sure whatever my next shot is with Hunter Hunter that he can score. And if he can score with his head, would that mean that it's a perfect hat-trick? Oh, my God. Nice header. One there. Horton into the middle. Oakley Booth. Hunter Hunter. Oh, my God. This could be it. Just fucking down the throat of the goal, Hunter Hunter. Not what we needed. And look, the, I swear the goalkeeper changed his position. He went right down the middle. Can't be on. He can't be. Oh my god, I thought he'd be off. It's going to be a fucking penalty. Rowan has given it away. Trying to put off the, sh the bloody striker from shooting. Every single time I'm in that scenario and an AI defender is all on my back and disrupting me, it's never a fucking penalty. Never. But it, because it's me. Because it's the fucking user. Alright, where are you going, Jarvis? He's going, oh, over the bar! And we still have our lead! Jake Jervis over the crossbar. I didn't have this man in my career mode originally. And thank God. Oh, that's a fucking great ball in. Oh my god, what a cross. And Jervis nearly that time. He's coming closer. Oh dear. I honestly am getting slightly nervous here. I really do need this third goal. Otherwise, I'm opening myself up to potentially uh, force this thing to go all the way to pens or extra time or whatever it is in this competition that I really don't care too much about. Into the middle. Davies is going to get fucking met. Come on. Luckily Booth. That was a bit simple. Oh, Oakley Booth is still going here. Oakley Booth. 
the whole bloody way. Oh my god, Dyer Tokley Booth has surely sealed it. I had just gone all the way with him, waiting for someone to cut it back to. Dyer did make an option. He did give himself a... Uh, the, oh, he gave uh, Oakley Booth the ability or the option to pass it off to him. But I figured, hey, we've done all this work with him. He's going to get a goal-scoring opportunity. Why not try to fire it in at the near post? And he has done it. One of the men that we've been training up here in Tasha and Oakley Booth. And he has made it count with what a goal. Lovely individual run that surely seals us this game and progression into the next stage. And hopefully a win against my former career mode team. I want it. I want it for him so badly. So badly. That's not bad. Fucking keeper cunt. Oh my god. Let him have it, man. Ah, oh, we're not going to have enough time to get it back up and forth. McFarlane's a fucking wanker. What a bloody party pooper. Unreal. You've lost the game already, mate. They might go and grab another. No, they won't. It's over. Oh, three fucking attempts, I swear, Hunter had. All to be fucking denied by the keeper, which means he does not get a hat trick. He still scores two today, and that man sealed it with a great individual solo effort. And that is that. We get the dub over our former career mo team in Salford City. That's just a nice little special sentimental one. We're still in the Leasing.com Cup, and honestly, I... I'm just about ready to sim every single game of the competition except for if we make the final. That's how little I care for it. But it's a win, and a win is a win. How good is it to see that man Hunter now hitting the back of the net? A brace, a goal in his first start. And I don't know, the hat trick will come hopefully eventually. When we continue to train him up, you know he's going to be a beast. Anyway, we will have maybe one last game to sim super quickly against Peterborough here since again, they're not massively up the table either. As a matter of fact, they're more than likely going down. <laughs> they're most likely going down. The sim games have actually been pretty kind to us. Although to be fair, Peterborough have won a game against Ipswich recently. But we will get the win thanks to you, uh, or thanks to... Dyer grabbing the W. God, I only just realized that was with my second team as well. Oh my God, poor Peterborough. I unintentionally disrespected the hell out of them. The next game, however, is away to Lincoln City FC. I think maybe we can probably about leave it here just before we tick over into December. I think I'm making for the fourth episode pretty good progress. I ideally would love each and every season to be under 10 episodes in length. Something like ideally like eight or nine, but uh, I feel like we're on we're on par to do that, so we'll stick it. We'll we'll stick here. One final game of November to play. We are going to be facing Newport City, our county, should I say, uh, in the Leasing.com Trophy. We also have our first FA Cup game against Fleetwood. That whole month of December actually looks pretty damn stacked, full of games. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get through almost all of it and maybe end up in the January transfer window for the next or following episode after that one. But things are going better for us now. We're top of the league. Hunter Hunter's got his first goal. He's now flying, which is terrific to see. And yeah, the career mode is just continuing to tick on. In the next episode, I reckon at the end of it, we will have to start making decisions as to where we're going to start strengthening the team. So what areas? Defense, midfield, attackers. If you guys want, feel free to leave in the comments down below already certain positions that you feel might need improving, whether it be individual positions like a left wing, a right wing, center midfield, a center back, fullbacks, whatever you feel. And if you have suggestions of players, again, continue to let me know. But for the time being, we will leave things here. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching so far. Again, don't forget the FIFA 20 giveaway that I'm running on Instagram. Go check that one out. And until the next Masters FC Career Mode video, have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you later. Bye-bye.